Morning guys, I want to small, talk this morning about the term release and this term just gets all people going on social media. So if somebody says, well, you know, I treated somebody's uh, ITB, they came in with pain and I'm a massage therapist and I'm going to release that area, they improved. And then everybody wages in and says, well, you can't release the iliotibial band, you're fooling the patient, you're just making money. Well, <clears throat> let's have a look at this from a logical perspective. You did a technique and the patient improved. Now, within our therapy world, we work on a biopsychosocial model. So the bio being something biological, so something mechanical in the, ta in, in, in the case of the iliotibial band. And then we have the psychology. So the way the patient reacts, the way they feel things, for example, and then sociological aspects. So how does that affect their life? For example, their running, if it's the ITB. So we would say with an individual who's got low back pain that we're having a biopsychosocial effect. So there's a biological uh, effect, perhaps we're strengthening muscle, perhaps we're, we're um, changing chemicals within the muscle. We're having a psychological effect. We're, we're improving that patient's confidence. We're improving their confidence in their movement. So we're reducing their kinesiophobia. And we would then have a sociological perspective and say, well, you know, in the case of chronic low back pain, the fact that they've got three young children is, you know, a major um, stressor on them. Well, perhaps we're dealing with exactly the same BPS effect when we're looking at our massage therapy. We know that when we are using a fascial release technique, a massage technique along the ITB, that the ITB has two layers, one of which is attached firmly to the, the, the femur and the other layer slides a little. So we're unlikely to change the length of the iliotibial band. And yet, when we get the patient to perform the OBA test, it's limited to start with, we do a fascial release, and then the OBA test position uh, increases, which would suggest that the movement is easier, that muscle tone is changing, or perhaps in the tensor fascial arter, that we're uh, an enabling some stretch tolerance within that muscle. So let's not get hung up on specific terms. We're using a technique which is patient-centered. The patient is improving. They've come in complaining of pain and an inability to run and to do the thing that they love. We're applying a technique to help the patient and it's achieved its aim. Now the model that we use for how that is achieved is, is the subject of considerable debate. And that is the job of our scientists. The job of us as clinicians is to help our patients and to perhaps to be a little bit less scrappy on social media. Alright, thanks for watching. I will now release you from this video.